grind hard to get ahead. You trying to go backwards. Feelings from the past, pray the Lord block it all out. This is crazy, bro. Feel like a little kid again out here. Fully crazy, bro. Where are we at? Crazy. When the last time it snowed out in Texas, Tyler, Texas. What? What's up, it's your boy Kevin Dutrain. Come back in with a little video. I hope y'all niggas like that little video. It's just a little something. So y'all niggas, when the last time it snowed, your boy, you putting that work in the grand I stop. Take a bunch of video. You like it, subscribe me. Do see so What's up? It's your boy Kevin Two Turn back on this YouTube shit with my cousin Dylan. Yo. Yes, sir. We in this bit thing thing. Yes, sir. How y'all niggas been doing? I hope y'all niggas been enjoying my video for the past week. And you know what I'm saying? Since I've been creating this shit, I hope y'all niggas been enjoying this shit. We back in this bit. We literally in three titties in this bitch. I hope y'all niggas enjoying this shit. My last video. I hope y'all uh, was it basketball water balloon fight? <laughs> oh no, it was the uh, it was the Christmas um. No snow on Christmas. Nigga, we ain't get no snow in Christmas. Like, what the fuck is happening here? We ain't get no, on, we ain't get no snow. We ain't getting no snow on Christmas, man. That shit sucks. But that ain't what the fuck I want to talk about. Your boy want to talk about. Who going to be the new Gen Z for the for the uh, NBA Basketball League? Yes, sir. Your boy is ready for the basketball Gen Z's to come out this bit. Yes, sir. Okay. The first one, oh, the first one I want to talk about is motherfucking Lamelo Ball. I feel like that nigga got the best chance to be the best basketball player in the fucking world, bruh. I feel like they didn't get a nigga a chance, man. In the preseason game, he scored 16 points, bruh. When he come to the first NBA season game, he scored no points. Like, what the fuck, man? They they not giving this nigga no chance. How are you going to start your number one overall pick? How you going to start him? That nigga selling ain't better than that motherfucking um, LaMelo Ball. I know Terry Rozier was kill him, coming in the clutch with that nigga. Terry Rozier is something nice, you know what I'm saying? I know that nigga was going to be something nice when he played with the Celtics. So, of course, look, Terry Rozier going to, scary Terry going to start. But that nigga LaMelo, he, he's the future, you know what I'm saying? How he going to, how he give that nigga the chance to start, bruh? He scored 92 points. So you tell me when he, he scored 92 points and come to the league, he can't score a point? That make no damn sense. The coaches are giving this nigga a chance, bruh. I don't think they want... Come on, Dylan. Hurry up. What you doing? But like I was saying, man, I don't think they give... I don't think they give that nigga a chance, bruh. The nigga is... How you score 92 points? They go overseas league. He go to the overseas league and ball out, man. This nigga was killing it in the NBA. And you tell me he playing he play against grown-ass men. This nigga playing literally against grown-ass men. You know what I'm saying? You ready? Come on. Daily, why you want to walk with me? You walking slow as hell. God damn. <laughs> My cousin, he taking 10 years, bro. But like I was saying, man, this nigga got the whole chance. This nigga got the whole league to be, to be great. Hey, you play football, too. How you walking so damn slow? Huh? This nigga walking. This nigga play football. And he walking slow as molasses. Come on, man. <laughs> like I was saying. See, you Yeah, he put Takis in the Pringle King. <laughs> Y'all can't see it. But like I was <laughs> ass. Nah, for real. But like I was saying, man. The mellow ball, and he got the training. This nigga, got, this nigga should have all the training. His brother Lonzo Ball in the NBA. It's like every, it's like Lonzo had the same problem with Lamelo, bro. They both come in the NBA, and they turn out to be like not performing, bro. Then you got your whole, you got your, you've been playing basketball for your whole life. You learning, you your first thing to do is pick a basketball. You got the chance, you know how to shoot a basketball into a hoop. His shot is nice, bro. If you score 16 points in a preseason game, his shot is nice. You know what I'm saying? He the, young, he the youngest ball brother, bro. He got the most potential. He he should learn from his older brothers that, you know what I'm saying? How great he should be. You dig? Nigga, six, nigga, six, eight, six, nine. Nigga, tall as hell. That nigga just need to get his muscles up, bro. 
That nigga need to get his muscles up. That nigga, that nigga really a beast, bro. But I don't know, I don't know what they gonna do with him now. <laughs> he ain't score no points. They need to get this nigga. They need to let this nigga start. Let that nigga Lamelo Ball start, niggas. Damn, stop holding this nigga back, bro. All right, that's the first Gen Z man. The next Gen Z is Zion Williamson. That nigga Zion Williamson is a goat, bro. That nigga Lamelo Ball. I think Lamelo Ball is better than Zion. But Zion gonna be nice too, bro. He, he got his, he got his season cut short because of uh, his injury. This nigga, I remember, I mean, if y'all look back into my um in my old videos when I was reacting to videos, bro, I reacted I reacted to uh, Lamelo versus Zion when they played basketball when they were coming in high school and shit. Yeah, nigga, Zion is nice, bro. He been nice, you know what I'm saying? Nigga been scoring forty and Lamelo been scoring thirty to forty points, bro. So. That, that's no excuse why these niggas not scoring no points like that. <laughs> that nigga Zion, that nigga Zion got hurt. How the fuck you blow out your own shoe, bro? Nigga playing basketball with some what? He playing with Nike? Bro, that, that nigga playing in Nike. Nigga, I'm gonna turn MCL, ACL, NCL, ugly. That nigga gonna turn everything up. Trying to play basketball. And, uh, and the crazy thing is, after that nigga, uh, busted that shoe open, that nigga was switched to Jordan. That nigga a brand with Jordan now. <laughs> that nigga said, fuck no, baby. Oh, yeah, I forgot LaMelo Ball. That nigga LaMelo Ball, he, he signed with Puma. Is Nike, is Nike, um, losing his, losing his, um, is, is, is clout? All these niggas not trying to sign with Nike no more. Nike need to get these niggas more money, bro. Or they're going to lose all y'all people, bro. They're going to lose all they people. Kevin stuttering. They're going to lose all they people. You're not saying nothing. <laughs> oh. But like I said, he losing all they people, and they give out, they they going to like Curry. Curry getting his own brand, bro. Curry got his Curry shoe. You know what I'm saying? Nike losing clout, man. But uh, like I was saying, Zion Williamson, he get injured. Nigga should I feel like he still should have won uh Rookie of the Year. You did. That nigga should have still won Rookie of the Year. But the next Gen Z, I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna talk about him in a minute, bro. So like I said, Zion, that nigga played for the Pelicans. You did. Brandon Ingram is the GOAT on that team. Brandon, Le Brandon Ingram is the leader on that team. With Brandon Ingram being the leader on that team, and you know what I'm some good pieces with Ad Steven Addison, Zion might be nice, bro, because that nigga, that nigga B.I., he's something deadly, bro. But he's not a Gen Z, you know what I'm saying? Only Zion Gen Z. So he finna uplift his team, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they needed, another, transcend another transcendent player. But like I was saying, man, the next Gen Z is J.A. Morant. That nigga J.A. Morant, they might be losing, man. They might be losing, but that nigga is nice. That nigga kind of remind me of A.I. He got the handles. He's speedy. He got the he got the crazy moves to score. He can shoot. He started getting shooting better, but this nigga score. How you score forty something points and still lose? Like goddamn, this nigga scored forty something points and still lost. Can't make this shit up. I feel bad for that nigga. He got he on a trash team. The Grizzlies are trash. All they got, all they got is Jay Morant and that light skinned dude. And that light skinned dude not even that good. He got dunked on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just waiting for Jay Morant to really take that next level and because he good at like a one on one on one player scoring 40 points, but he needs to uplift his team. Was he good at assists? But they took an L. You know what I'm saying? But like I was saying, man, that nigga J.A. Morant is something nice. He, he stole the rookie of the year from Zion Williamson. So we got to see what, you know what I'm saying, what he going to do with it. You know what I'm saying? You got this rookie of the year. Zion Williamson to get the rookie of the year because he been injured. So, you know what I'm saying? We need we need you, J.A. Morant. You, you with the Gen Z. You with the ones who going to start the new legacy, bro. We need you to take your team to the playoffs. You can't be losing all these fucking games, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you the best player on your team. But you're the youngest, so you gotta you gotta lead your team though. You know what I'm saying? Tell your owner to get some fucking teammates, cause y'all ain't got nobody. Y'all team is ass. But Jay Morant, the only good player who can lift that team to where they should be, scoring 40 points. You scoring 40 points, my guy? And still losing? I'd be mad as hell. I said, what else do you want me to do? You want me to put 40 points and 20 assists and 30 rebounds? You want me to play every position? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that shit not that shit don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? This nigga should have been scoring. This nigga should have been winning. Last year, you know what I'm saying? They really didn't do nothing last year with Jay Moran. That's why I say Jay Moran as a person. 
he's transcended. You know what I'm saying? He got the chance to take over the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got a chance to be like, you know what I'm saying, Westbrook. You know what I'm saying? Better than Westbrook. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could be one of the players. You dig? But the next Gen Z player I want to talk about, my guys, and this nigga, this nigga nice, bro. This nigga really nice. Trey motherfucking Young. That nigga Trey Young, bro. That nigga is nice as hell, bro. What's up? What's up, man? What's up, cuz? You doing good, man? You be careful, bro. That's our cut, but my cousin. I don't know, I just got damn cars and shit. But like I was saying, man, that nigga Trey Young is hella nice. That nigga, when they was talking about with um Cash Nasty, when he when Trey Young went with Cash Nasty and um Flight, and they were doing three point shots, I been knowing that nigga was nice, bruh. That nigga was nice. That nigga got the one of the sweetest threes that you can see, man. That nigga just, that nigga come p- pulling up from half court and shooting threes, bro. And, and you know what I'm saying? You know, we got that from Stephen Curry, but his shot is like locked down, my God. This nigga shot is locked down. This nigga, this nigga coming up crossover, bat, bat, bat. Then, you know what I'm saying? Shoot a three. Then, and they got some nice pieces on their team now. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no scrubs no more. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Trey Young, you better take your motherfucking team to the playoffs this year, man. Atlanta Hawks, y'all better go to the playoffs this year. You got Trey Young on your team, man. That nigga average, that nigga can average 30 points if he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? That nigga hairline look like it's going back, but you know what I'm saying? The, only the greats got the good hairline going backwards. <laughs> but that nigga Trey Young came out of nowhere, bruh. He was playing with Cash Nasty, and they were doing three point shootouts. I seen that nigga, I said, yeah. This nigga is spectacular. Nigga come out the screen with a crossover and just shoot it in your mouth and don't give no fucks. We gonna train right here. But like I was saying, man, that nigga Trey Young is hella nice. They traded some, they traded some people off their team and got some good pieces. I know they won their last game. You dig? But um, you feel me? He just, it's just gonna take a minute. They, all these niggas are young, like I said, Gen Z players. Cause it's still, Le- you know, what I'm saying it's still LeBron League. You know, what I'm saying we really don't fuck with LeBron like that, but. It's still LeBron League, so after LeBron retire, or even before Le- Le- LeBron retire, these Gen Z next, next niggas, like me and, me and uh, my cousin, we Gen Z. You know what I'm saying? Gen Z's are the, what is it, 90, 95 to 96 and up is a Gen Z. So, um, come, come on, dude. Y'all know, who, y'all know who shit that is over there. But like I said, man, the Gen Z gonna take over the league in a few few years, and your boyfriend. The, and your boy finna kill the game And we finna be lit in the bitch I hope y'all niggas like this video Like and subscribe I'm just going over to Gen Z niggas Cause the NBA league got some promising players If these niggas learn how to take a team over And learn how to win championships The league is in good hands You feel me? And my boy cousin Dylan You got anything to say? No uh, He had nothing to say You know what I'm saying? But What you say? He eat butt crack every day He say he eat butt crack every day <laughs> And uh But um yeah, well, after this, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Tell me who y'all think is y'all, y'all Gen Z players who gonna be taking over the league in a few years. And if y'all Gen Z, tell me who y'all, if y'all Gen Z's and shit. Um, but fuck with your boy, your boy Kevin Tune. Out this bitch, and I hope y'all like this video. And yeah, deuces. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, that this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so pull that everywhere.